is Laos Eros backing up here in this opening minute of the bout. Eros scoring well. While he was falling back, he was putting in sharp punches, and they count. White of the glove touches a target area, the face and the anterior body. Three of those make a point. And the winner of each round is awarded 20 points. In a close round, loser would get 19. A clear advantage would be a 2018 or a 2017. Andrew Maynard, from a family of 13, began boxing at Sugar Ray Leonard's gym in Palmer Park, Maryland. He hasn't been a knockout puncher. Usually wins on points. Right now, Eros is counterpunching him and gaining an advantage by counterpunching accurately, whereas Maynard's punches are falling short or being caught in gloves. And the chant of USA from the American contingent of the crowd is being drowned out. That's a caution against Maynard for holding first portion of the bout. Maynard coming forward in a two-fisted attack. He's winging it. And Maynard landing the right hand. Big advantage to Maynard in that exchange. He just came forward winging from all angles. And for the first time, Eros did not put in a counterpunch that counted. Oh, good left hand. That staggers Eros. And that is a standing eight. Any combination of standing eights and knockdowns adding up to three in one round. And the bout is over. You see time remaining. Half minute left in this first round. Well, Maynard knows that Eros is susceptible, so he's going at it. Maynard using the jab effectively and continues to stalk Eros. Final seconds, round one. And a strong start for Andrew Maynard. He strained his back real bad about a week ago, and I had this free sample of Metaprin. I couldn't believe how fast it worked. I had this awful headache, and Metaprin fixed me right up. I have arthritis pain sometimes, and it's nice to know Metaprin is there. I heard it's got what's in Motrin. Metaprin is for tough pain. It has ibuprofen, the same medicine as Motrin, and nothing's proven faster. You know, not very long ago, I would just grin and bear it. Now it's all I use. Metaprin just works. When the pain gets tough, get Metaprin. You hear the thunder, 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 the call of the road. You feel the excitement. Get on your party, you A sports sedan that moves like a ground-level flying machine. Big, fast, and powerful. Pontiac Bonneville. Test one soon. Get on your party, Reveal the excitement. In 1918, a team of GE engineers developed a new high-altitude aircraft engine, but no plane could fly high enough to test it, so they hauled it 14,000 feet up Pikes Peak. After several fits and starts, this remarkable new engine roared to life. And it is the same ingenuity and team spirit that has brought GE from America's first jet engine to the world's most advanced. Ladies and gentlemen, if you look out the left side of the cabin, you'll see Pike's Peak. Which proves that when people work together, there's no telling to what heights they can soar. thought everything was happening in Seoul.
Sunny Spoon returns. I mean, what's there not to like? This fall. This is a swarming style of Andrew Maynard. Once he gets untracked, he throws punches from every angle. They build points. Look at the white of the glove going right into the face. Now, those punches to Mega Heads don't count, but he just keeps swarming. Those punches underneath do. And they got Eros in trouble, at least got him out of his game plan, and that resulted in this. A standing eight count as a looping left hook drove him into the ropes, and Eros takes a standing eight. Well, Eros had the better proficiency in the first round, according to counterpunch, but Maynard landed more punches. And again, a strong combination by Maynard. Eros able to counterpunch his way off the ropes. You know, while Maynard's doing this, he's going all out. He is taking a gamble because Eros is just holding back, waiting for that one big hammering shot. Let's see if he's got the kick to stop Maynard coming in. the right hand and then Eros able to double up on it and triple and quadruple he's found a home with that right hook Maynard slowed up his attack and why wouldn't he he got hammered with five straight hooks oh good left hook from Maynard and that buckled Eros and again the left Eros took a standing eight in the first round. Minute 45 left here on the second. Blood from the nose of Eros as he's taking a hammering also from the jab and hook of Andrew Maynard. There goes that Mark Spitz attack. He looks like a swimmer going across the pool. Only his strokes are landing on the face of Eros. Look out. And Eros nearly caught. Maynard as he was deflecting off the ropes. Well, these later fights are endurance contests. Depends on how hard you had to fight to get here. Right now, Maynard looks fresher than Arrows, but they both look like they're wearing out. When it goes to the semifinal, the medal round, Andrew Maynard in the blue trunks from Chevrolet, Maryland. All over Laos Arrows of Hungary. And we're just under a minute left. Second round. And the blood continues to flow from the face of Eros. Another big hook landed by Maynard. Maynard zeroing in now. Relentless in his attack. Eros trying to wait for that one punch that'll turn it around, but he's not having luck. Stoppage with Lee Jae In of Korea, wiping some of the blood away from Laos Eros. Down to 20 seconds and counting in the second round. Oh, the jab of Maynard again got right in. Also having some success with the uppercut. Getting too reckless as Maynard. He's just taking it for granted now and trying to land anything. This NBC Sports presentation of the games of the 24th Olympiad is brought to you by Budweiser, proud sponsor of the 1988 U.S. Olympic team. This Bud's for you. By Shearson Lehman Hutton, the financial firm for the serious investor. By Federal Express, the official air express carrier of the 1988 Olympic Games. And by AST makers of award-winning personal computers.
McDonald's invites you to be part of the U.S. Olympic team. He needs a perfect 10. When you play McDonald's when the U.S. wins, you win Olympic game. He approaches the handstand. When the U.S. wins a medal in the event on your game piece, you win too. Win a Big Mac, regular fries, or medium soft drink. Or you can win $100,000 in Olympic gold coins instantly. He did it! And you can too, because when the U.S. wins, you win. The good time, great taste of McDonald's. Admittedly, the first personal computers were somewhat disappointing. Now, after three million years, someone finally got it right. A.S.T. Times have definitely changed. My mom's going to Tokyo on business. Tokyo, where's that? About a million miles away. Wow, she better bring a sweater. Every day, Northwest flies from more of the U.S. to more of Asia than any other airline. Here's the swarming attack of Maynard. He's found pay dirt. Now he's fighting with all confidence. He knows just about everything. He throws his landing. So there that is. A bewildering variety of hooks and an uppercut for good measure. And he continues on later in the round when he has extracted a measure of blood from the nose of Arrows and has him virtually at the point of a standing eight. And Maynard landing. 40 punches to 18 of the second round. That's a very high number. Laos Eros of Hungary. And Andrew Maynard of the United States in this third and final round. Again, repairs to the uh, face of Eros. Andrew Maynard is the 178-pound light heavyweight national champion. He's the only person to win national titles both in 87 and 88. Despite that, he remains one of the least experienced Americans fighting in the Olympics. Began his boxing career at a, at a relatively late age. And any doubt as to the effect of the uh, injury on the right hand of Maynard has to be dispelled because he's using it. Headgear dropping down too far, and referee Lee J. in wanted Maynard to put it up a bit. Maynard not taking any chances on a decision. He just wants to land two to one punches at least. And Maynard, who did land 40 punches according to counterpunch of the second round, continues the onslaught. And Arrows pulled him in by the back of the head. It's a miracle he didn't get a caution for that. He just said, stop all this. Come here, baby. And held him. Gone by in this final round. And a caution called on Maynard for leading with his head. Well, Maynard is not letting up. It's just back to work. Arrow's throwing as hard as he can, but not discouraging Maynard. Once again, Maynard flashing that left hook successfully as we come up to a moment and a half remaining of the foul, and Eros was hurt by that uppercut. What an uppercut by Maynard. Eros looking to hold on as Maynard turns him around. Maynard turning him, giving him angles, punching from the angles, doing everything right. A caution on Maynard for hitting down low. Look out. And that's a sign of how tired Eros is. And how tired Maynard is. He almost dislocated his shoulder on that punch. I mean, a little medical repair. I don't know what they think they can do except to make it look cosmetically nice. Well, as uh, the referee Lee wipes the blood away, he's also assessing the injury. As uh, the bout resumes, we come up on a minute left. Eros is puffing. In that, in that brief respite that he had, he was just blowing through his mouth. Now he's just gritting his teeth and taking the punches, which don't seem to quit coming. Oh. Andrew Maynard, who was not impressive in his first bout the other day, although he did stop Masso of American Samoa in the second round, has come through with 
an enormous performance. Just punching away right from the start, doing it particularly with the hook, uppercuts. He did take uh, Eros into a standing eight. Earlier in the bout, we're down now to 20 seconds remaining, and Maynard looking to put Eros down. That should be a standing eight. It is. Oh, you know Eros just wants to uh, sit down on the stool. Final seconds. The only question is, will Eros remain standing? And uh, he does, barely. That is it. Andrew Maynard with a pounding of Laos Eros of Hungary. And we'll be back with the decision in a moment. It happens across the lake. Murder, murder, cold-blooded murder. A loving couple discovers a deadly secret. <laughs> Looks like somebody wants you to leave. So much peaceful country life. A daring woman struggles for her family's survival. Valerie Harper, Gerald McRaney, The People Across the Lake, Monday. Take care. Real doctors you can trust. Now look, the baby just moved. Did you see how the yeah, baby moved? I saw a little movement. Real patients, not actors with everyday concerns. This is one of several ways to remove warts. Basically, it burns them. Real life drama, unlike anything else on television. Doing the initial examination, I think there's there's very little chance presently that you have the disease that your mother had. But there's some simple things that I want to talk to you about. This is Group One Medical, premiering Monday, October 3rd. Oh, you'd better hurry. Remember, you're seeing the doctor today. Okay, bye. Bye. We've been members of HMP since before he was born. You see, HMP is there when we need it. When we're sick, for prescriptions, even for regular checkups. No hassles. Just first-rate care that saves us money. Thanks, bye. So for us, just any HMO won't do. It's got to be HMP. Backed by the leader, Community Mutual, Blue Cross, and Blue Shield. Mr. Hero proudly presents the new Double Steak Super Steak. Hey, where's your steak, Jay? Oh, <laughs> the new Super Steak. <laughs> Just like Mr. Hero's famous hot butter cheese steak, but double the steak. Super Steak, it's the furthest you can follow your heart without losing your head. Get a Super Steak regular size Whopper Fry and 16 ounce soft drink now for just $3.49. Maynard's non-stop attack took uh, Eros to the rope over and over again. And when he got there, this was the bad news he received. Punches from both sides, from both hands. Maynard just doesn't seem to give up. Has inexhaustible energy. And, of course, that led to a standing eight. Because Maynard landed a devastating uppercut and a right hand, which drove Eros to the rope. And it was really enough for a standing eight right there. for Andrew Maynard as he makes his way to the center of the ring. Maynard again with a decisive edge according to our counterpunch in the uh, third round and uh, this decision should be academic as you look at the uh, final totals. 103 punches landed to 45 for Andrew Maynard stationed at Fort Carson Ladies in Colorado Springs. The winner is on point spy zero in the blue corner Andrew Maynard from USA. Andrew Maynard advancing to the 178-pound light heavyweight bracket in the semifinals where he will go up against the winner of the Ahmed Elnagar of Egypt out against uh, Henrik Petrich of Poland. A solid performance by Maynard. Now to Wally Matthews. Andrew, do you know any way to fight besides toe-to-toe? -to -toe? I guess not. I don't know. You know, it felt pretty good, you know. He came with some shots that really, you know, got me excited. As you can see, I started, you know, winging. Yeah, you, you, know? Were, you were averaging 140 punches around, which is a oh. blistering pace for light heavyweights. Were you getting tired there in the third round? No, it wasn't that. You know, usually I start, you know, weighing in about 74, 75, you know. But now I've been holding my weight just to show these guys just how strong I am. You know? One thing that you did consistently was pin your man on the ropes and pound away with body punches. Were you surprised that he stood up for the whole three rounds? 
Yes, but if my right hand wasn't bothering me, he should have won the second or first. You know, but I was just kind of, you know, real timid to throw it. How bad is that right hand? Are you holding back on it? Yes, pretty much so. Uh, that's why I worked a lot of left jabs a day. Oh, that stepping left hook looked good. How about that? Tom Foster showed me that. Okay, are you affected at all by the obvious anti-American sentiment here in the crowd? No, not at all. You know, once I get in there, you know, I think of my wife and my daughter. And think, you know, just how proud I am to be here to represent my country. You know, there's no other way to do it but go in there and put on a great show. Andrew Maynard bombs his way into the medal round. Oh. Now back to Marv. All right, thank you, Wally. Andrew showing his entire repertoire in surging to the semifinal. What do you say? That left hook looked pretty good. Yeah, it looked pretty good to everybody but Lilos Eros. Uh, and so Andrew Maynard moves on. He gets to uh, go against the Polish fighter now, Hedrick Petrick, in his uh, next bout in the semifinal. That'll be tomorrow night. Right about now in Korea, as we're coming up on uh, 1045 on a Wednesday morning, Coach John Thompson probably off in a room alone with his thoughts. That's how he likes to spend the uh, hours left before uh, going off before a big basketball game, alone with his thoughts. The United States going against the USSR semifinals of the basketball championship, a rematch, a meeting we've longed for for 16 years. It's coming up today. When we come back in just a little bit. We'll turn our attention back to track and field. We've got decathlon competition, and Flojo's set to get back out on the track. We'll see her after this.